Hey guys, we're going to talk about zero filament today. See you guys inside. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about a filament maker that sent me a roll of filament to try. This is by the brand Zero, the 3D printing filament. This is their PLA and this is their Starry Night or Starry Sky, I apologize. So this is a PLA 1.75 millimeter and I had some fun with this. So I'm one of, I don't do a lot of stuff with multicolor filament. I probably should do more, but I don't. And this filament also had something I despise. A lot of you may not know this about me, but I don't like glitter. This has glitter in it. But all in all, this brand, I was hesitant. I've had filament sent to me before and it just messed up the machine. So this is their gradient tweakling. And just in case you're curious, I will have a link out there for you guys for zero filament. And I was hesitant to use it, to be honest. Color change, standard PLA. But guys, first, subscribe. Second, make sure you hit that like button. And two, if you got any questions about it or any other color grade filament, hit that hit hit the comments down below. But what's what's your honest opinion of this filament, Mike? Well, I'm gonna be open with you. I was pleasantly surprised. Beautiful colors, beautiful gradient changes, and honestly, I was able to slot it in and print with not really much changes. The only thing I really did have to change, I had to up my retraction a little bit, but I was putting this PLA directly into a direct drive, so it's not surprising I had to adjust, adjust it. But the color gradients, guys, that's just beautiful. I love the blues, the blacks, into the purple to the light purples. These articulating dragons, if you're curious, a link will be down in the description below to go get the same model out on Thingiverse. But I gotta even pull this one in with the black. I mean, that is just so much fun with all the other colors. I mean, you go through a very beautiful color change. Um, even with the purple to the blue, like this one, and I'll get some closer shots for you guys here of these. It's just a fun, this was a very fun filament. Um, and I'll show you guys this one. I did this dragon cup that's available out on Thingiverse um, just because I needed a new pin holder. But look at that. You get a true view of the gradient. Now I did mess this one up. So an even better view. There you go. You can see the blues to the purples to the dark. Now, these are tree supports that I've left on for that spiral. Um, I just haven't taken them off because I wanted to show you guys the color gradient. That color gradient is just so awesome. And the glitter is in there, it shows through. Now, what I've had happen in the past with glitter is the flakes are too big. They're not using fine enough glitter in the filament. And at least the clogging. I didn't have a single clog with these. so. Really an impressive filament, really enjoyed it. I didn't have to do much temperature change. I ran it at about 210, which may have been part of the stringing problem too. I probably needed to knock it down to 205 in my Odin, but I was really impressed with this filament. I really enjoyed working with it. Um, to say that I didn't have any problem with it is really odd, because um, I get some of these filaments and they just don't work. This stuff worked. I had a lot of fun with it. It's PLA, the strength is fine. Everything was fine with it. Um, it, it was really impressive to have, have something sent to me. The brand Zero, I'll have links in the description down below. But guys, go give these guys a check out. So, but that's all I've got to say. I recommend it, I like it. It's a lot of fun to work with. Really pretty colors. Um, a lot of fun printing the articulating dragons. Uh, my daughter was ecstatic to have one. Because, I mean, usually when I print, I usually print monotone. I usually print gray. And I printed this one specifically for the purpose of this video to show you guys. I usually print gray. Um, so to have the color gradient, have the strength of the articulating dragon to be able to print them, 
as I do with my PLA, because this is my PLA Plus that I like to use. This was just a lot of fun. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give you some closer shots of these here at post at the end of the video here, and uh, let you guys take a look at it and judge for yourself. So it's one of those things. Hearing someone say, "Oh, the filament's fantastic" and all that, you got to get it and judge for yourself. Um, but I, I was really impressed. And if you run into a problem with it, please has, don't hesitate to reach out. Hit me in the comments down below. My email address is right out there. I try to help you guys out as much as I can, where I can. So, um, but a really good filament. Really enjoyed working with it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch up with you guys next week. See you guys later.